The much-anticipated fight between Anthony Joshua and Daniel Dubois has been officially called off, sending shockwaves through the boxing world. The cancellation came after Dubois tested positive for performance-enhancing drugs PEDs. Despite being confident in his ability to win, Joshua chose to withdraw, prioritizing fairness and the integrity of the sport over the match itself. His decision reflects his unwavering commitment to clean competition. Fans, who had been eagerly awaiting the bout, expressed disappointment, as did Joshua, who had invested months of intense training. Though frustrated by the sudden turn of events, he stood firm in his refusal to compete under questionable circumstances, believing the match would not be fought on equal terms. Dubois, however, has fiercely denied the doping allegations, accusing Joshua of using them as an excuse to avoid the fight. He insists the claims are false, and has publicly challenged Joshua to prove his toughness in the ring, rather than backing out based on unproven accusations. In the lead-up to the fight, tensions were high between the two fighters. Dubois, the reigning IPF heavyweight champion, had expressed confidence in his chances despite being the underdog. He was ready for the September 21st fight, aiming to stun Joshua and secure a third world title. Despite the odds, Dubois remained determined and unshaken, declaring he was fully prepared for battle. Dubois's confidence shone through in his public remarks, where he boldly asserted his readiness for the fight and claimed he would retain his Ebb heavyweight title. His statements, bordering on taunts, revealed his belief in overcoming Joshua and silencing critics. Dubois seemed eager to prove his potential and cement his place as a dominant force in the heavyweight division. The fight's cancellation, though disappointing for fans and the boxing world, underscores the ongoing battle to maintain fairness in the sport. Joshua's decision to withdraw, despite feeling confident in a victory, reflects his commitment to clean competition. As the aftermath unfolds, the statements from both fighters and the consequences of the cancellation will continue to shape the narrative of this high-profile clash. Becomes a three-time world heavyweight champion. Every one of his victories would have been against the world heavyweight champion. Not a vacant belt, not anything like that. Do you understand? So that's important. Despite the cancellation of his fight with Anthony Joshua, Daniel Dubois remains focused on his future in boxing. Viewing this as a pivotal moment in his career, he's already looking ahead to upcoming opportunities. I can't wait. It's all written in the stars for me, and I have to hold on to my belt. I want to put on a show no one will forget, Dubois said, emphasizing his commitment to stay focused and prepare for his next big moment in the ring. He sees this as his chance to make a lasting mark on the sport. Dubois is confident and determined, believing now is his time to shine. Everything is on the line for me, and it's time to prove myself, he declared. A victory over Joshua would not only establish him as a top heavyweight but also set the stage for a possible showdown with the winner of the Usyk vs Fury rematch in 2025. Such a high-profile fight would be a defining career milestone for Dubois, both financially and in terms of proving his ability against the division's best. The cancellation of the Joshua Dubois bout has left a void in the boxing world, disappointing fans and professionals alike. The highly anticipated match promised to be a thrilling contest, but its abrupt cancellation has been a major letdown for the entire boxing community. Prominent voices in the boxing world, including Gervonta Davis, have not held back in expressing their disappointment over the cancelled fight. Davis, a celebrated fighter known for his own high-stakes bouts, shared his frustration, saying, the match was shaping up to be something special. And it's a letdown it got called off so close to fight night. His sentiments echo the wider boxing community's feelings, as many had anticipated the clash between Anthony Joshua and Daniel Dubois to be a potential classic. The abrupt cancellation has dampened excitement and robbed fans of what promised to be an intense showcase of skill and strategy. Now, with the fight off the calendar, fans are left in limbo, eagerly awaiting updates on the future of both fighters. What was once anticipation has now become a waiting game, with the boxing world left to speculate on the outcome of this missed opportunity. The fight had the potential to be a career-defining moment for both Joshua and Dubois, and its absence has left many feeling a sense of loss. As the boxing community processes the sudden cancellation, the frustration and disappointment are palpable. The highly anticipated clash between two top heavyweights was seen as a thrilling showdown. With Joshua's experience and Dubois rising momentum setting the stage for an unforgettable contest, the abrupt end to this buildup has left fans and analysts alike grappling with what could have been. 
Debates over who might have emerged victorious continue to swirl. Would Joshua's experience and strategic prowess have triumphed, or would Dubois's aggressive style and growing confidence have carried the day? This fight was expected to be a pivotal moment in the heavyweight division, and the unanswered questions and speculative scenarios have only heightened the sense of a missed opportunity for the sport. With the Joshua Dubois fight officially off, the boxing community now faces the challenge of reuniting the excitement and anticipation that surrounded the cancelled bout. Fans and analysts alike are reflecting on the lost opportunity, while hoping for future matchups that can deliver the high-stakes drama this one promised. The urgency to find the next big fight has intensified, as the sport looks for matchups that can capture the same level of enthusiasm that Joshua vs. Dubois generated. The cancellation also underscores the unpredictable nature of boxing, highlighting the importance of maintaining integrity and fairness in the sport. Despite the setback, the passion of fans and the dedication of fighters remain as strong as ever. There is now a renewed focus on ensuring future bouts not only deliver excitement, but also uphold the highest competitive standards. While the anticipation for this particular fight has been curtailed, the boxing community remains eager for new developments that can fill the void and propel the sport forward. Meanwhile, the debate over Joshua vs. Dubois will likely continue to stir discussions among fans and pundits. The question of who would have emerged victorious lingers, keeping the fight alive in conversations even after its cancellation. As the boxing world navigates this unexpected turn, all eyes are on what comes next, with the hope that future matchups will capture the same excitement and drama that were expected from this high-profile bout. Very active, Dubois. I think he won't be quite as active. You know, you saw him took a, take a lot of punishment against Hergovic. AJ's a different type of puncher to Hergovic. You cannot walk on to right hands. You'll go straight. To Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Start the music. Oh, no way. <laughs> be nice. Daniel Dubois has labeled Anthony Joshua a fake cold medalist and vowed to deliver the worst defeat of Joshua's career on September 21st. Respect in that ring, there's no respect in that ring. And you know, at the end of the day, this is a fight. If you want respect, go and become a lawyer. You know, go and get, <laughs> become a lawyer or a doctor or something. Daniel Dubois is puzzled by Anthony Joshua's complaints about disrespect during their face to face interview promoting their September 21 fight at Wembley Stadium. Joshua, who has 28 wins by knockout, became visibly upset when Dubois, the IBF heavyweight champion with 21 knockouts, responded to a question about his eagerness to start fighting. Joshua seemed to expect Dubois to act submissively, as if he were his boss. In frustration, Joshua threatened to attack Dubois with a chair if he didn't show the respect he desired. The 26-year-old Dubois, however, was unfazed and appeared ready to stand his ground. Think you are. Then don't disrespect me, I'm going to disrespect you. No, 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 don't disrespect me on my life. No, it's okay. I want this little boy. Daniel Dubois is confused by Anthony Joshua's reaction, which he feels was an overreaction for demanding respect. Dubois argued that respect isn't relevant in boxing, it's about fighting. He emphasized that he's fully prepared.